Hello viewers and welcome to my channel it's Lena here again from DigitalLearner.com and in today's video tutorial I'm going to walk you step by step on how to create a business directory website with WordPress. So in case you don't know what a business directory website is, um, there is every tendency that when you go online to search for let's say name of businesses or office of businesses online on Google, um, the first place or the first website you get this information from are from business directory website. Business directory like businesslist.com, we have um, GG, GG is called a business directory. We have a lot of business directory out there. So what business directory actually do is they compile a list, addresses, phone numbers of businesses, businesses, even people who don't have website can actually start having online presence with their contact details on business directory. So in this video tutorial using WordPress, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to actually achieve that kind of website. And the way you make money from this kind of website is one, you can make money through AdSense because when, you know, by monetizing the traffic that you get, you can make money through sponsor posts, you can make money through um, featured listing. Yeah. So when you tag your people when they are listing on their on your site to be showed first or to be shown to your uh, at the top of your website, you actually get paid for this and you can equally sell membership or sell packages as I'm going to walk you through in this video. So if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are actually uploaded on this channel and if you like this video share it with your friends on social media and don't forget to hit the like button so don't forget to hit the like button give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on on social media if there are anything you are stuck with you need help with creating a website with wordpress you need help with internet marketing you can always reach me through using the comment section in the video and you can always um, actually chat me on WhatsApp uh, if there is anything you are stuck with or contact me via my WhatsApp. So without further ado, let's jump now. Before we jump right into the processes, there are a few things that we need to create this business directory. Um, we need a premium team in this case and we are using premium press. This is just a demo from the premium press template that we are going to use. Premium Press offer a whole lot of um, business um, listing um, related WordPress teams. They offer, if I scroll down here to the Afuta, you see that they have teams for auction teams, they have dating teams, they have coupon teams, they have micro jobs teams, they have classified ad teams, um, shopping teams, directory teams, all of these different teams are what you can actually buy. If you want to create a dating website, you can just go ahead and buy this team that is particular to that site. If you want to create a coupon um, site, a blog, or whatever about, you can just go ahead. If you want to create a job listing site where you list jobs, opportunity for people to actually get, you can just go ahead or a classified RT, um, a team a website, sorry, a classified website like gg.ng, you can just go ahead and buy a particular team that is particular to that and you start creating. So first we are using a paid premium team which is from premium press the link to get the team is below the video description so you can just go ahead and click on the link to buy any of these teams if you want to use them or buy the directory team if you want to create similar uh, website to what i'm actually going to do here now when i say directory site you can make yourself your site particularly to be a directory for restaurants you can make it to be a directory for for barbers, you can make it for barbers in a particular location, you can make it to be a directory for anything at all, or you can just make it a general a directory where people can list a whole lot of um, different kinds of businesses with different categories on this site. So first we need a premium team, um, and this team, if I go to the pricing tab here, actually the one-time purchase is about approximately 90 bucks, so this is what, you, you, with this you are buying only one one team normally the normal price i think they are doing promo now that's why you're having ten dollars off um so to buy just one team you are uh getting this for a single team for 89 um, dollars as of this the time of making this video and if you want to get access to all of the premium press teams you pay about 349 dollars to actually get access to all of their teams that means if you get this you get access to unlimited update anytime they update a new team or they create a new team you still have access to it so and the developers are licensed if you're a developer you can go ahead and purchase this so it's actually very cost effective 
and after the theme another thing we need is a web hosting now when it comes to creating websites there are things that are very very important and one of those things that are most important that you should consider before creating a website is your web host your web host provider can determine how efficient your website runs out there and if you are not sure of their uptime 90 at least 99.9% .9 of time then uh, you will have issue and another thing you should consider when considering a web host is the customer care um, the customer care support how does it take how long does it take to get support from them so in this video tutorial i have actually a list of um, cheap web hosting that you can get with a free domain name in the video description so you can just go ahead and check out but for the purpose of this demonstration we are going to use bluehost to actually create this site so all you just need to do to get started is we need a domain name i've already gotten a domain name but if you don't have a domain name bluehost can actually give you a domain name for free um all you're just paying for is just to pay for the purchase of your hosting so i have a list a list of um hostings that can actually carry websites like this without any problem in the video description so go ahead and check it out anyone that suits you your know, that satisfies you that suits you know your requirement go ahead and use it but for the purpose of this demonstration we'll be using bluehost so in order to use bluehost all we just need to do is use the link in the video description go to bluehost.com and click on get started now when i click on get started you see all of these different plans you can go ahead and choose any of these plans that you want but before you go ahead just check the requirements here me i actually go with the choice plus which is the plan that i currently use so i just go ahead and select this plan you can go ahead and select any of this plan and if you don't have a domain name already this is where you put your domain name and the registration of this domain name for the next one year is free of charge so you go ahead and put your domain name here to actually get started so if you don't have a domain name just put in the name of your domain here and check if it is available but if you have a domain name already you go ahead and check it um, and put the domain name here so if i say this is the domain name we want um uh, to input so i just go ahead and click on next and um, also let us know if this domain name is available or not and as it is right now bd block um is not available so we can go ahead and you know choose any of these options that they are giving us we'll go ahead with dot org dot online dot this all of these different options but if we don't like that we just go ahead and add a figure to this and check if it is available all right so this domain name seems to be available and i'm just doing this for demonstration purpose to show you the walk you through that first you need a hosting and a domain name so with this all you just need to do is to fill in your information here and most importantly fill in your correct email address here because this is where your login details and every uh, your access to your cpanel will be sent to so fill in your email address here and here on the plan you are getting um, bluehost actually suggests that you go with 36 months that means in the next three years you are not going to bother about hosting and uh, paying renewing for hosting and the rest you can go ahead and choose 24 months 36 months or 12 months whatever that appeals to your conscience just go ahead and select if you see this pop up go ahead and claim your savings and that will add a discount to your hosting so with that a discount has been added so if i go ahead and select the 36 month we are getting it at this amount so whatever um, um, period you want to actually host your server at 12 24 36 month go ahead and select it and we are getting all of these things domain registration for free and these things all of them we are getting them for free so i'll go ahead and uncheck the side lock security we can always buy this later on so um for two years if you check the total of what we have here for three years sorry to host this website for three years we are just spending um 214 dollars 20 cent that's just what we are spending then if i go ahead and select one year um, the total amount you'll be spending to actually host a website for one year is just 89 bucks um, to actually host that website so all when you finish you go ahead and select if you want to pay with your credit card you go ahead and select this if not click on more premium option you have the option of actually paying with credit card or paper so whatever options that appeals to you that's what you are going to choose and then make the payment once you finish the payment um, once you finish filling in your credit card go ahead and check to agree to their terms of service and click on submit and the next page will be a success page if your payment goes through um, that your purchase has been made successful and an email will be sent to you to for your login details to actually log into 
your 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 dashboard and start installing to the team and wordpress and then we'll start going wrong with the team so first to create this site you need the hosting and i just walk you through on how to get the hosting a cheap web hosting with bluehost so the next thing we want to do i'm um, using the login details that has been forwarded to you is to log into our site Mm -hmm. we we'll log in with the login details that have been sent to you and in this case um if you have a domain name already um let me go to the domains here if you have a domain name already um you need to add up that domain name as an add-on domain to your um, to your bluehost account but normally if you don't have a domain name and you register a free domain name it will come as a primary domain name so you just go ahead and install your wordpress in it but if not go ahead and add up the domain and in order to add the domain if i click on the domain once you log into your bluehost account i'll go ahead and click on assign so this is where you assign a domain name so wherever you got your domain name from you go ahead and assign it so you go ahead and add the domain name but before you assign the domain name you need to change the name savers from wherever you bought the domain to the directing to um, bluehost that is that way you can easily add the domain name and that is what i just did here so the domain name we'll be doing here we'll be using for the business directory is this business directory blog.com and i just added it as an add-on domain and the next thing we need to do is go ahead and click on my site so when I click on my site, we want to install WordPress on this site before we now install the team on it. So all we just need to do is to go ahead and click on add site. And what we want to do um, is WordPress. So we'll go ahead and use WordPress. We'll just click on use WordPress. And here is where you give your site a name. You give it um, uh, a brief description, like a tagline, and then put an email here, your WordPress and main username, and then the password, and we'll click on next. So let me just um, hasten up to fill in this information. So once you put in the name um, of your site, put in a description like a tagline and then the email address and username and password, all you need to do is just to click on next to install WordPress. And we go ahead and select the domain name. This time around, we, so since we have two domain names already, we will need to select the domain name where we want to install WordPress. And we want to install it on our main domain, which is the business directory blog.com. And on the directory here, please just leave this empty. Don't go ahead and put anything here because we are installing WordPress on the main site. We want when people visit business directory blog.com. Um, they have access immediately to our site. If you put in any uh, full dining name here, that means wordpress will be installed on your website.com slash the name of whatever you put here we don't want that so just leave the directory empty and the next thing is just to uncheck all of this go ahead and check but you can install these plugins if you want to but we i don't want to install that plus plugin so i'll go ahead and click on next and bluehost will go ahead to install wordpress for us and this doesn't take time All right, so we have this congratulation message. Um, Leos have successfully installed WordPress on our site. And first, all we need to do is just to, to access our website. This is the link we are going to use to access our website. And this is the link we are going to use to log in to the back end of our website. So all we just need to do is we just click here to log in to WordPress using the dashboard there to automatically log us into the website or um, i'll just um, go ahead and copy this and open it in a new tab all right so this is what our site looks like and uh, we presently have the bluehost coming soon um, plugin activated on the site so i just go ahead and click on admin login to login So the username, the password, just go ahead and put, let me paste the password here and then click on remember me so that next time when I come and remember this and click on login to log into the back end of our site. All right, so this is what our dashboard looks like. This is what our dashboard looks like and we want to actually install a team and start tweaking our site. If I open this site in a new tab, Now this is what the website looks like with the default team of um, the default uh, 2020 team of um, um, WordPress. So this is what the site looks like, but we want to customize it to look like this directory website. And all we need to do next is to install a team. And in order to install a team, um, we are going to actually go to appearance and click on teams. 
and before i can install this team i will need to log into my premium press account and download the directory team that i have purchased this is the directory team here so all i just need to do is just to click on this download to download the team to my computer so the team is downloading and once the team finished downloading i will come back here this is where i'm going to upload the team so from your dashboard you go ahead and over over appearance click on teams and it will bring you to this um, particular page here and all these teams i don't need them so in order to delete them i'll just click on team details and click on delete click on ok because i don't need all these teams i call it click on team details delete to delete this all right so we are just left with this one team once this team finished downloading and i install it i can go ahead and delete it then we now have only this team on our site so let's just give it time to finish downloading and we can now upload it all right we the team is done um, downloading so the next thing i will need to do now is um, once i'm on the appearance on the team tab just go ahead and click up click on upload to upload the team that we just downloaded and then we click on upload team again and this tab comes up so i just go ahead and select the team so once i click on this tab this pops up the next thing is just to select the team and just click on open and once it's, the team has been selected go ahead and click on install so the team has been installed successfully we can go ahead and live um, preview it or we just activate the team so we are just going ahead to activate it i'll just click on activate all right so the team has been activated if i come to the front end of the site and refresh it you now see that this is how our team our website looks like but now we are asked to activate our premium press team so the next thing i will do now is to go ahead and click on installation so this is where we are going to paste the license key and the email address that is associated with our team and then we go ahead the version should be the same version um we go ahead and click on install the team so what i will now do is um, log into my premium press account copy the license key and paste it so let me quickly do that so once i copy the license key and then the email address that is associated with my account from my premium press account and put them here all i need to do is just to agree um, to the attempts of usage and go ahead and click on install team All right, so the team has been installed successfully and um, it is required that we install all of these plugins. So the next thing I will do now is just go ahead and click on begin installing plugins. Go ahead and select the plugins, click here and click on install and apply. So plugins has been installed successfully if i come back here to refresh our site again let's see what it looks like this time around all right so um the license has been activated and we have something that is similar to what we want to build so these are all the default um listing that we have already that has been imported imported to our website with the different categories um, with the search bar and with all this featured listing and all of this has been imported successfully to our website so now it is time for us to tweak it that is one good thing about using wordpress because um, templates are already built for you all you just need is after installing the particular team you're using most especially when it's a premium team you now begin your installation um, your customization and start customizing the team and one good thing about this is that it comes with elemental uh, elemental is actually um, a, is one of the page builder that you can use to build this particular team so we're going to use the team to actually change the home page and see what else we can achieve with this all right so now one good thing about the premium press team is that it comes with a whole lot of templates that you can actually install um by default this is what the default team looks like and we can just go ahead and say okay we want to install the child team by just clicking on these child teams under your appearance you scroll down and click on child teams so this will open up all the different templates that you can actually install and start customizing so if you want your particular your website to look like this design you go ahead and install it if you want it to look like this go ahead and install 
if you want it to look like this these are all different layers um, or designs that you can actually use if you want it to be like a barber shop um, directory food all of these different options there are things you can actually install and start customizing your site to look exactly like what you are going to install here so for the purpose of this video we will just choose one particular one here and start customizing that okay let me install this so this has been installed if i go back to the team again let's check that that has been installed all right so we can see that it has been installed so i'll go ahead and activate this and see how that also will look like So once this team, um, this child team has been activated, we go ahead again and refresh our website to see what it looks like this time around. All right, so this is what it looks like, and I seem to like this particular design. Um, it looks, you have this bar here, you have your categories here, you have your official post, your official listing, and then you have this option here. So this seems to look better and all I just need to do is, um, let me just tweak this, we we'll work with this. So the next thing we want to do is if I come here to the premium press, you will have all of these options to use in tweaking or actually designing your team. Now one thing about premium press is that since it's a premium uh, team, they have a whole lot of tutorials that will help you achieve whatever you want to achieve so before we continue let me go ahead and activate this plugin the plugins that we installed has not been activated so let me go ahead and activate them so select the plugins and then come here to activate and click on apply all right so once again i go to premium press and just click on it and this is where all of the tweaking the customizations the settings of um whatever we want to do are so all of this here we have the overview we have report we have configurations um the report shows you the number of listings you have on your site and all of those things so you will see them here numbers of users numbers of listings all of them subscribers will be listed here that's what you see on the design of the report um, tab on the configuration is where we can actually start configuring our site um, we can add our company information here we can add page button links here we can add user uh, settings here primary currency all of these things this is where we are going to tweak all of this so the next thing we want to do is to come down here to the team set design setup and click on it So on the design setup is where you will set up your home content by just clicking, um, just click on the home here and this is where you will change that image that we have here. Um, this is where you tweak all of this. Um, this is where you add your, 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 your description and then button text. Um, we can just go ahead and say instead of add um, business, we can say add listing or add your business whatever we add there that's what will be added we can go ahead and add a link here where when they click on it where do you want them to what do you want it to take them to and this is where we we'll add all of those information and then the text on the search here i am looking for town city or zip code this is where you actually put in all those um, things and then description will be here and the featured this is where you set all of this and for your logo this is where you are going to put in your logo uh, presently this is the logo we have here I already created the logo so in order to add that logo i'll go ahead and select the logo um, and put it there and actually add it up here so uh, if i want to change this logo just go ahead and click on change and let me select the logo i designed already um, that logo is on my desktop All right, so this is the logo I already made. So I'll go ahead and select the logo. And once the logo is selected, go ahead and say insert into post. So we'll go ahead and insert this into post. 
and the logo will be uploaded here the next thing uh, once you make any changes just scroll down here and click on save settings so let me come back here and refresh the website and you can see the logo has been added this is our logo our logo has been uploaded as so so that is how you make changes to your site if you want the layout to be uh, like a box layout as it is right now this is how the layout is if you want it to be full you go ahead and click on 100 percent and once you make any changes here go ahead and click on save changes so on the header tab you will go ahead and select the kind of header you want it to look like you just go ahead any of the designs you want here that is what will be added to your header tab you have the search bar all of this breadcrumb once you make any changes here go ahead and click on save changes now, because we have installed Elementor and we are using a child team, most of these changes will make them, um, for instance, like changing these uh, pictures and the rest, it will not reflect on the site here. It won't actually show up here. So um, we we'll need to activate Elementor, which we have already activated. And then we we'll use that to actually start editing the site here. The next thing I need to do now, if I come back to the configuration, is to go to where it says page and button links and go here to actually click on view and this is where we assign all of the links already when we installed it this team this particular team it came with um, all of these pre-made pages all these pages were created automatically so if any page is not assigned to a particular uh, uh, link here just go ahead and assign it so for the account my account we have my account the callback the ad listing, all of these, the blog, we have all of these different options here. If there is anything that is not here, just go ahead and click on it, add it up, and just click on save changes. So any tab you click here that you don't understand anything, you can always click on the video tutorial and they will show you, walk you through. A video tutorial will take you to the their YouTube channel where they will walk you through on how um, to actually uh, do uh, customize a particular setting so they have a whole lot of things all you just need any tab you click on just click on the tutorial there to see what you can actually do to customize your theme so the payment currency uh, payment and currency if i click on view you this is where you add all of the options and from their website here um, when I go to the plugin, they have a whole lot of payment plugin, Flutter, Wave, um, Rave, Paystack, all of these payment pl platform plugins are all listed here. So any payment platform you want to actually integrate your site, you just come in here. Any of these plugins you want to, any of these payment gateway, you just come in here and download that particular plugin. And once you download the plugin, you upload it. But by default, PayPal is the one that is enabled so if you don't understand anything just go ahead and click on video tutorials and just do it if not if you click on add new you just upload the team and you activate it and for the default currency this is where you are going to put in your default currency if i'm in nigeria if i want to put a default currency here all i just need to do is to put the naira symbol here so just go ahead and put in whatever default currency you want to put and then the code of that default currency if you put them here you can go ahead you can enable jquery to actually do this if you want to um whatever you select there just click on save changes and that means when people come to our, our site what they will be seeing is the default currency which we have uh, actually added up here and if i go back to the configuration tab again we have the company info this is where you fill in the information about your company name ceo all of the address this will be displayed on the side your social media handles these are where you are going to add all of those uh, details uh, go back to the configuration again and then user settings we'll just go ahead and click on view you can allow registration just go ahead we want to allow registrations um user to set password that means when someone is registering they will set the password themselves um user mobile uh, number all of them go ahead and add allow all of this if you want to and then the default country you can go ahead and select your default country i want my default country to be nigeria so go ahead and select it you allow comments go ahead and just click on save changes all right and changes has been added so here, if you want to add a particular field to the registration page, normally what you have is name, email, address, and the rest. If you want to add another field, you just go ahead and click on add field here to add it up to the registration page. 
So under the email and SMS, this is where you send and bulk emails and SMS. If you want to enable the SMS, just go ahead and check this to enable the SMS. And this um, recommends that you use the next more API key to be able to send um, SMS, notify people via SMS. You can send email to all of your users who are registered on your site. And this is where you enable all of those things under the configuration. Um, go to the conf to do that. You go to the configuration tab and then you do all of the settings under emails and SMS. The language you can go ahead and switch the language for searches and then directory settings. All of this, if you want to enable social login, I am um, people to log in with their social media account. This is where you come to actually do that by just uh, inputting your the Twitter API key, the Facebook API key. That means when people come to your site, they will be able to log in or create an account with their Facebook account. So the next thing we have here is the directory settings. So under the directory settings, we have business hours, claim listing. That means I can list businesses. Somebody can come and claim the listing and then amenities. These are all the amenities that will be enabled. You can add all these amenities to your listing. These are all the features that come with this particular um, um, uh, the premium price stream. And if I go to the listings and packages here, so the listing packages here is where you actually set up the packages people can sign up with. So we have basics, we have standard, we have premium, and all of these extras that are here. The basic is normally free. And in order to see this reflecting on the side, we need to enable our menu here so that we'll be able to see this. To enable our menu, let's go to appearance here. Scroll down here to appearance and click on menus. So because it's a new installation, there is no menu that is created here. So the next thing we need to do is to click on um, create menu. So we are going to create a menu that is called main menu and just click on create. And once this menu is created, we want this to be our main menu. So we'll go ahead and check main menu and the menus we want to add here is we need our home page. We need about us. We need um, blog. We need the ad listing and we need the blog. So I'll go ahead and select them and then click on add to menu. And this will automatically be added here. So I will want the blog to come before the ad listing. So once I go ahead and arrange it the way I want by just clicking and drop. If I want this to be done, I'll just click. If I want it to be up, I'll just click. So that's how you um, actually um, arrange your menus here. I'll go ahead and click on save changes. So once I save the menu, if I come back here to refresh my page, then you can see here that the menu has been added. We are going to actually um, make this full width. It's because we made it um, uh, full width. That is why it's um, showing up here. We're going to make this image full width using Elementor. So if I come back here to the add listing button and click on add listing, this is where all those packages will be showing up, but we have not enabled any package. So I'll go ahead and click on premium press and click on listings and packages. So once I click on listings and packages, I'll go ahead and click on basic and this package is off. So we'll go ahead and enable it by turning it on. And let me collapse this, go to the standard. This is equally off, I'll go ahead and turn it off. And this is, let's say this will cost a thousand error to be a part of this. Go ahead and click that. And once you are done with that, go ahead and click on save settings. So once this setting is saved successful, um, I come here and refresh the listen page. Now you can see that the packages are enabled here, all of them are enabled. So we have the basic because it's showing zero there, that is free. And this is the one I added 1000 now, that is the amount of money that you will. So if you select this package, that means at the end of your listing, adding your listing, you are going to pay a thousand error to actually add those listing. And if I want to add prices to all of these extras, I'll go ahead and add prices for them, for, for it to be enabled here. and. Let me go to the packages again. These are the extras. I can go ahead and click on it. 
and come back here to add a price here. if i leave it at zero it will be showing free if i add any amount here it will be showing up there so the next tab here is your membership tab where you can equally enable membership people can actually become mem um, um, free join for free they can join as bronze members they can join as silver members so all you just need to do is go ahead and add any member here any membership level you want to add you go ahead and add it up and then enable the membership and click on save changes so that is how you did this the next thing we want to do is actually design this home page with elementor and in order to design this home page with elementor if i come back here to my premium place and click on team um, design setup and click on home page you will see this notification here that this area is designed to help you make basic changes to the existing home page design but if you want to fully customize the design and you know, remote section please use the elemental page builder tool so just click on the page builder tool here and this is where we can install any of these pages that we want to actually customize so i can go ahead and install we want to customize the home page so i'll go ahead and install the home page here by clicking on this install template so the template was installed successful if i go back here again and then click on the elemental um, this is where you can edit you can preview you can set the home page so we'll just go ahead because we want to use this that we just installed as our home page so we'll go ahead and click on set um, home page all right that has been set to our home page so let's just open this in a new tab to view the home page and click on the elemental page builder again and as i said earlier if there is anything you don't understand there's always a video tutorial where you can watch to follow up you can equally do like uh, the same thing for the page the listing page you can do that for the about page the contact page the testimonial page how it works page you have the option of tweaking all of these pages but this is what the home page looks like and we can actually did this with elemental um, so let me go back here to this and we click on a deed preview so we'll go ahead and click on that while this is loading up there is something i want to actually show if i click on this ad listing here the ad listing here the, if you check look at the website address here is showing this and this is what we are supposed to do before we even start tweaking this website um this page is equals to id equals to 15 so we this is showing up because we did not edit the payment link so in order to edit this payment link i'll come back to the back end of my website and come here to settings now once i'm here on settings in order to edit that i can go on here to click on payment links and once we are here we go ahead and select on post name so this the, in, with selecting this option now will now be that the website will be showing uh, the name of our website.com forward slash ad listing so that's what we are going to do so i'll just go ahead and click on save changes so once this changes is made um if i go back to the front end again and click on add listing so instead of showing page is equals to this id and that is now showing the ad listing so that is what we wanted that has been achieved now let's go back to the elemental page this is the website we are going to actually edit this with elemental so in order to start editing this home page in order to start editing this home page with Elementor, all we just need to do is to click on the pencil icon here. If you hover over any section, this is a different section, this is a different section. Hover over it and click on the pencil icon here. If I click on it, so once I click on it, this particular style that we are using here is um, um, this 31, they have over. 38 styles here that you can use so presently the one that is active here is 31 if i click on 25 um, that goes ahead and gives us that particular design so all of these styles home hero designs are of different styles so this is what this one looks like on this particular page so you just go ahead but let me leave it at that 31 first so on the element if you know how to use element already this will be should be easier for you if i go on this icon here and click on it let me collapse all of this so this is the premium tab, uh, premium press tab for Elementor. You have the header layout, you have the footer layout, you have the menu layout, uh, menu bars. These are all the things you can select to actually start editing using your Elementor. 
So basically, in order to edit this page very well and be make sure that it's mobile friendly, I'll go and put this in the mobile view. So okay, so that means the 31 here is actually uh, mobile friendly. So the 31 is mobile friendly, and I'll edit all of this in mobile view. So this is how our listing will be displayed. If I click on this, I can actually dis um, show how you, I want it to display. So this is the list layout this is the list layout and then this if i turn this on it will be in that grid layout so whatever changes you make here that is what will be applied to um on your site which kind of listing do you want to display here? if you want it to be featured items you go ahead and select featured items if you want it to be popular items um, whatever the way you order you want it to be displayed those are things you go ahead and edit it if i want to change this template some of these templates are not non mobile friendly i can go ahead and say i want to choose type 2 yes type 12 and this is how type 12 looks like so you go ahead and select all of this and see what works best for you and once i set it now this type 1 is not mobile friendly so as you can see it's not showing the right the full right top is not showing up here so if i go back to the um desktop view here um you see that there's an image back there's an image uh, embedded in the background here if i go ahead and click on this if you want to change the image if you want to change the image in the background this is where you go ahead and select the image if you have an image uploaded in your media library you go ahead and select it but if not you just upload the image here and use it to change the background image and then i don't particularly like this design so let me change look for another design that will work for me so after going through all the templates on um the hero design here for this particular banner here i seem to like um, this one that is 34 so there are about 38 of them here you can go ahead and check out whichever one that suits you so to change the text you just click here put in the text you want to put and go ahead and add up the description here for the button I'm going to link this to add listing now or add business now. So that's what I'm going to put here. I'll just put in the button here and add a link here. So that when someone click here, it takes them directly to where they can add the site. Now for the category page, um, <coughs> you can go ahead and show display the amount of category by just uh, increasing or reducing the numbers here, the offset. You go ahead and tweak this to actually show that for the listing page you can go ahead whatever you want the numbers of listing you want to show up that's what you go ahead and do but one thing we need to do now is the header there is no menu here so we are going to actually add the header and in order to do that we go ahead and click on um, this uh, icon here to bring us to the options here and then we're going to add a header layout so what we need this time around you have the footer layout the sidebar the full uh, the header layout the mobile menu and all of this but what we need now is the header layout so we'll go ahead and select the header and bring it at the top here so once we select that we have all of these different options this is how the style one looks like um, we're having the social icons here and then we're having my account here and we have our logo here and this is where the menu will come in so you can go ahead and change it to whatever you want it to be style 2 if it is style 3 whatever you want to achieve these are the different styles um, of what you have here this is what you are going to actually get at the end of the day so that is it if you don't really want there over there what we have here we have header one which is the top area we have the header um the second header here which is the logo area and then we have the third header here which is the menu area and the fourth header here so you can go ahead and enable this this is enabled that is why you are seeing it here if i go back to the one Now, if I don't want this header area, just go ahead and disable it here and collapse this. If it is the logo area I want, I can go ahead here and choose the different types of um, styles that I need here. This is the logo area. This is what you're going to look like. Style 2, style 3. This is what style 3 will look like. If I expand this, you will see this is style 3. You have the um, logo at the middle here. And you have all of this option. This is showing because the um, header number three is enabled. If I go ahead and off this, 
and then open this up this is how um, um, our site will look like um, so that is with style on this the second header is the logo area that is style 3 is style 4 this is what style 4 looks like so if I collapse this you have the logo and then the search here there is no menu um, style 5 No menu style six now if you don't want um, this uh, if you want to change the color you can go ahead and choose if it is white you want um, if you want the background to be white this way you will got if you, you want it to be any of these preset that are here that's what you will get mm -hmm. and this is how your header will look like secondary that's what you get but I, I prefer the dark um, color so we'll go ahead and use the dark if you want to add the top border there's a border at the top here if I remove this there's a border showing up at the top here if you want that border you go ahead and enable it if you want the bottom border go ahead and enable it whatsoever you want you just go ahead and enable it so once you finish tweaking your site um, the headers and the rest if you want to add a footer you can just go ahead and you know come down here to premium press there's equally a footer here um, this is the footer so you go ahead and click and add the footer any of this that you want to add up you can go ahead and just add it up and once you're done you just go ahead and click on update to update your changes so if i come back here to refresh our site so once we refresh the pages now what our website now looks like and i will allow this to be the way it is in the box side because i may be using the background for um to actually showcase instead of just having this background i can use it to actually um, run art on the desktop um, so that somebody be viewing this on the desktop they can see someone's art showing up here so i'll create a background that will be displaying art here so this is how our website is beginning to take shape we have our logo here we have the home tab we have our battles the blog and then the ad listing button here i'm equally going to add here the ad listing so when someone click on the ad listing on the ad listing now it takes them to this page where they can select the package so you can just go ahead if i want to select this package i'll go ahead and select the package this is where you add your media um, just select your files and then on the description you're adding the title then your company's information will be here your company's phone number your company's email your company's website address then the amenities local amenities whatever this that is related to what you are offering you go ahead and select them and then add keywords that is related to what you actually offering and then the categories is where you select all of these different kinds of categories and then click on agree to terms and condition and you click on save changes and um, once you make payment if it is a paid package and you publish it to be published if you don't make payment um, if it is a free package when you get here you just ask to publish and you just go ahead and publish and your um, listing will be published so because of the time involved already as i said earlier um, premium press offers a lot of um, tutorials on how to configure their site and you can always contact their support to actually um, walk you through if for anything you don't understand so basically this is how you go ahead and edit your site and you start using it to do whatever you want to if i enable the premium the elemental um, page builder for the about page i can go ahead and use it to edit the about page so if there is anything you don't understand and um, i can actually assist you personally but um you can always contact premium press they have video tutorials that works you step by step on everything you need to do to actually start creating a a, a, a good functional website for um, business directories so i just wanted to show you what is possible that is actually possible to create a business directory website using wordpress and that is exactly what i have just showed you here and this business directory will be live if you're a business owner out there you can actually start using it to list your business i'm going to work on it on the background and you can check it out and list your business and at the end of the day i'm going to sell 
the the website so if you want to buy it i'll sell it for you um what i have where i sell my website once i finish checking this site i'm actually going to place it for sale and i'll sell it to those who are interested to actually buy it and that is it for today's video tutorial you want to create a business directory website um, be it um a dating website a classified ad website a shopping card website whatever website you want to create premium press offer bunch and um, a lot of plenty of all of these different kinds of things that you can actually start possessing today so go ahead and use the link below and possess any of this team and they have tutorials that work you step by step on how to do everything so until we see in my next video bye for now